Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About four months ago, I posted a video that Microsoft Edge could be getting a new secure network free VPN integrated into the browser. And just to do a quick recap, uh, you would have to sign in with your Microsoft account. You only get one gigabyte of free data. And it's a free service in Edge that is powered by Cloudflare that can help you protect your device and sensitive data as you browse. And this is a feature that Microsoft is currently testing in Edge Canary, which as many of you know, is a preview version of the browser. Now, just um, to give you some um, an update and some more information as um, Microsoft now um, has started to add the Edge Secure Network, the VPN into the settings page and integrated now into the settings page in the browser. So if we just head over to there just to show you, and we head to privacy search and services in the settings page, and we scroll down almost to the bottom of the page, yeah, you will see um, it's now been added and integrated into the settings page with a couple of options. Now, first of all, uh, you can toggle it um, the the, uh, the VPN secure network off and you can see the shortcut button has been removed from our toolbar and if I toggle that back on we can now see that that VPN is actually turned on now and activated and working. Now you get a couple of options here. You have an option to use it with selected sites. It says the VPN automatically automatically turns on when you visit a site included in your customized use VPN site list and this conserves VPN data by routing all other traffic outside the secure network and as mentioned, you get one gig of free data. Now the optimized option is the recommended by Microsoft. VPN automatically protects your traffic when using public Wi-Fi, unsecure networks, or visiting a site without a valid certificate, that's HTTP. And it says conserves VPN data by routing streaming and video content outside secure network. And once again, as mentioned, you only get that one gig of data. And then the third option is all sites. VPN is used for all browsing traffic, including streaming and video content. Using VPN for all sites can quickly use up the free VPN data each month because you only get one gigabyte. So if you're using all sites, that one gig is going to disappear very fast. So and if you want to conserve data, use selected sites. And then obviously the optimized for a balance between protection and conserving your data would be the recommended. And that's what Microsoft has chosen as the recommended setting. Now, if we head to manage secure uh, sites and um, customize VPN to automatically turn on or off for sites you choose, that's what the description says. And yeah, always use secure network for the sites you choose. You can add a site and then once you've added, you can also remove all and never use secure network for these sites, add a site, and then once again, you can remove all. So there's a, cup, a couple of um, options now that have been integrated and added into the settings. And if we just take a look at the actual uh, VPN in the toolbar, we can also see now that when it's toggled on, if I turn that off, you can see it gets grayed out. But when it's toggled on, um, you have the option now to choose always use VPN for the site. So that will automatically, even though you have um, adjusted some and customize some settings for the secure network in the settings page. If you toggle that on, it'll always use the VPN for that particular site. So that's just another option. And then obviously, um, if you want to have another way to access the VPN, you can just head to the uh, the menu and yeah, you will see secure network and that will also open up that drop down fly out menu. So it looks like Microsoft is giving us a little bit more attention and that's another indication that this is a possible feature that could roll out to the stable version in the future, but I'll keep you updated as to any more information. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.